Hello YouTube! So today I'm here with my friend Mark and we're going to talk about how to do a concept shoot. So this one's not so much a tutorial as we are just going to do a shoot and I'm just going to talk about the process so you can kind of see how I build it from the ground up. What we're doing today is uh, we have our Cassian Andor from Rogue One, and we are doing a mashup uh, inspired shoot with John Wick, kind of that neo uh, noir, uh, neon light gelled style. Uh, that was a mouthful. So um, we're just, uh, we found this really cool kind of industrial looking background. Uh, and you can tell we are just in a business park. So it's not even that cool of a set. You can really find anything. Uh, I just use Google Street View to go along all these different places and find something that look cool. So this is what we're going to work with. So uh, let's just get our ambient setting. So go ahead and take a step back for me. And let's just see how we're looking here. Uh, so right now I'm at 1 60th of a second for my flashes, which we are going to set up. On this, uh, it's actually starting to black it out at f4. So I do want that shallow depth field. Luckily we have a nice cloudy day so I don't have to fight with sun. So we're getting just a little bit of ambient light, which looks good. We are going to set up some flashes. So uh, the shot that we are trying to recreate today, um, it's got a red gel also thinking to myself. It's got a red gel behind you, then it also lights up your face. So we're gonna put a red gel behind you. We're gonna start there. Um, and then I'm gonna grab a reflector and see if we can get that coming back at you. We're going with like deep red, right? We're gonna see how much we can get in camera today. Is that looking at you, Mark? Yeah. Da yeah, that's coming down like red. Perfect. Let's take a look at this. I like that. We're getting a little bit of splash on the back wall, which is good, except it splashes only on this half. So I want to more evenly illuminate everything. Cool, I like that. Let's grab a reflector and you can help us with this part. Come on over. You're gonna hold it about here like that and we're gonna see if we can get some of that red to come back up into his face there. There we go. The red light's coming in, it's highlighting the back of him and then you're just getting that little bit of splash coming back in on the other side. Let's set up light number two, which is the, uh, the blue one. And actually based on our reference, where's kind of the angle here? So for movie mashup accuracy, we're switching the red and blue gel. Um, I'm gonna put the red in kind of more hovering halo light right above him here. And then, so let's get this more like that. So you can see the shine on his face. That's really gonna help all of that red kind of come back in and get us that, that noir look. <laughs> May have to make some adjustments because the red is overpowering the blue. It is. So uh, for you guys at home, um, so uh, when you are doing multiple light setups, if you run into a problem like this, uh, turn off all your lights, do one light at a time. Because if you're just messing with both lights at the same time, you never actually know where the problem is. Because uh, as you're about to see, um, this photo that I have on screen now, movie magic, the red is overpowering it and I don't know why. So I'm not sure if it's the placement of the blue or that the red's too powerful or that the blue's not powerful enough. So that's what we're gonna test right now. So right now it's just the blue firing. So that's still coming out white and I want it to be really, really blue. So we are going to double up on gels here. I'm liking this one. So we got this guy here that you can't see over there from, with the wide angle lens that we are going to uh, double up on this flash so light is naturally white with the light balance. It kind of turns a little bit blue, but um, we're going to double it up so it's real, real blue. There we go. So we're getting this nice deep blue. The shot that I just did, we are getting just the light on the side of him. Uh, he's not getting a big shiny highlight from the red right on the nose. Um, so light placement on your kicker lights are really important. You never want the shiny on the nose. Um, we're getting a nice blue purple glow, kind of getting that middle streak of his face and the light wall behind him. Um, and then we're getting some really cool shadows with all the piping that are turning purple, 
with the uh, red and blue gels behind me here. So I think now we're pretty much set up. So I think it's time to actually start like sh getting the shot. Okay. I was looking at how uh, Mark and his body and the blaster here interacted with all of the stuff in the background. So uh, I didn't want the, the blaster crossing kind of some of those horizontal lines that you have in the wall. I also didn't want the pipes to look like they were growing out of the back of his head. So head in a clean spot, whenever you're shooting any portrait, head in a clean spot, um, but also getting that blaster so it wasn't so busy um, over in front of kind of all these boxes, but over on the other side. So that looks really good, I love that. And then let's, Move this in a little more on the face. Let's give this a shot. Okay. Yes, okay, so the blue's a lot more pronounced in this one, which I really like. So rotate kind of more this way and then boom. Gotcha. Uh, with just a slight bend to the elbow. Perfect, just like that. So here is the on-screen photo, um, and then obviously while I'm talking right now, I haven't retouched it yet, but uh, plans are I do want to retouch out the one bracket that's just touching uh, the muzzle of the blaster, um, and then I'll probably put in one or two more sets of rods um, just to kind of fill in some of that negative space, give it a little bit more of that gritty industrial punk look. Thank you so much to Mark for helping us out today. Um, and so that is kind of the walk through the process of uh, how you conceptualize a shoot, how you actually go on set, start setting up stuff, playing with it to get the look that you're actually looking for. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. If so, uh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. Um, you can hit that bell notification for more videos. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.